Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, man. After what I saw tonight with Canelo's performance, and boys, Canelo's boxing IQ improving. Canelo is beginning to become more and more a smart fighter. You know, he tried to do his Floyd act against the uh, ropes against Liam Smith, you know, when he was landing those body shots to put Liam Smith down. But Canelo, like I said, he fought an excellent fight for the opponent that he had. Liam Smith, he tried to tough it out, but Canelo was too big, too strong, too much for him. Now, let me give another assessment of this fight. After what I saw tonight, and I'm dead serious, I am more than convinced that Canelo Triple G is a 50-50 fight. For those who thinking that Triple G is just going to walk in there and throw two or three punches and then Canelo is going to go down, you are sadly fucking mistaken. I've seen, I saw things that show me Canelo could outbox Triple G. He could outland Triple G. He could hurt Triple G. He could get Triple G out of there. This fight is going to come down simply on will to win. Who wants it more? Now, like I said, I don't want to wait for this fight. I wish this fight could be made as soon as, you know, the beginning of January. But we all know it's going to have to wait. But... I saw enough to show me that Canelo can beat Triple G. This fight is even as hell. Everybody talks about Triple G's power, but Canelo has the power to hurt Triple G. I think when they fight, Canelo will be hurt, but then I think Triple G can get hurt. Keep in mind, y'all really just don't understand what Kale Brook did. And Canelo has a vicious uppercut and he can be relentless at times and he can work the body Canelo's key to beating Triple G he gonna have to take some risks he's gonna have to jab his way on the inside but if he can get an in on the inside and pound Triple G's body and land that uppercut we don't know what's gonna happen so like I said man I know you Triple G fans don't want to hear it Y'all don't y'all think he going to just blow through Canelo? You are sadly fucking mistaken. Like I said, <laughs> Triple G's <laughs> Triple G's <laughs> reign of terror is almost over. Whether it comes via Andre Ward, whether it comes via Daniel Jacobs, whether it comes via Canelo, Triple G will not retire undefeated. I can guarantee you that. The only way he retires undefeated if he keep fighting tomato cans. I don't think a Daniel Jacobs fight is going to happen. I just don't think that fight's going to happen. I already know that it's going to come down to net worth. And we already know how to, it's going to play out. It's not going to go to a purse bid because if it goes to a purse bid and PBC wins, then the talk about the HBO's been good to us and all that shit. So we're not. So I don't even want to go through that process. But like I said, this is a fucking 50-50 fight. I'm out.